yeah, all of you online guys. Good morning. Good morning. A very good morning, guys. Hello. <laughs> yes, before going to start the session, Please, online guys, please share your mail IDs and the phone numbers in the chat box. Pawan, Dilip, Harsha. Okay, I'm... Okay. All of you online guys, please share your mails and mobile numbers in the chat box. Okay, right, guys. So, as of this first demo, today we'll see the significance of a detail part. So I'm not uh, coming into this complete deep, uh, in deep of a subject level. So I will give you today only the brief significance of this Informatica Power Center tool and ETL process. So why we need to learn this uh, Power Center and what we can do it by this Power Center. What kind of a similar tools are presented right now in a market. So like as it is Informatica Power Center ETL tool. Before that, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sridhar. Total, I have a 10 years of experience in complete BI, business intelligence only. So I have experience in Informatica Power Center, so seven years of experience, I involved in different uh, domains like banking, insurance, stock market, waste management systems, with uh, different tools actually in ETL tools like data stage, SSIS, Informatica, and more. So that is my self brief. According to the teaching experience, from past four years onwards, I'm representing the batches from Vinay Technologies. Pure in Informatic only. Informatic of Power Center. That is my self brief. So today I would like to be covered here. What is the mean of this integration, data integration? And the requirement and what is the purpose of this data integration and what kind of a tools are presented, how the Informatica market is that really we'll see as of this first demo. Tomorrow then we'll see this practical implementation of this complete Informatica, how it looks like. How can we move the data from one place to other place? That is we'll see tomorrow. So Informatica is completely, it's a corporation. It's not a tool actually. 
Informatica is a corporation. This corporation is providing plenty of tools. So these are all tools that are there in Informatica. Big data intelligence, data quality, and data security, MDM, master data management, and data integration, and IACS, cloud service of the integration it is. So, but this Informatico familiar on integrations only, data integrations, or a B2B exchanges, data exchanges, metadata management, data quality verifications. So, and each and every area, they have, a, they are implemented a specialized tool to done that process. Or a, if you want to verify the quality of the data, the first layer in a business intelligence. And if you want to integrate the data from multiple sources, heterogeneous or homogeneous sources, then we can use data integration tools. According to the enterprise purpose, they can purchase and they can use the tool as it is like as our bikes. Bike is a tool to travel one place to other place. Lot of bikes are available in market right now. Not only the single manufacturer providing the bikes, lot of manufacturers are providing the bikes for us. So as for our uh, requirement. Somebody want to hear, he, he want to participate in racing. He purchased Active. With Active, it's not possible at all. Yes, Active is a bike, but it is not a right bike to participate in racing. All our bikes, Active is also a bike. He purchased Active, but with Active, he is not a participate. He cannot participate in racing. Right tool, he need to be purchased. High-end models, sports bikes, he need to be purchased. But one person is looking for mileage. He need to travel daily home to office and office to home. But he purchased a Royal Enfield or else BMW bike. But obviously, BMW bike is not going to be provided mileage. Hardly four or five kilometers soon. As for the requirement, then we are going to be select the tool it is to done this process. Here, what is my intention is all our bikes only. Purpose won't be valid. To travel one place to other place, we can use two-wheeler, any two-wheeler. Purpose is not going to be valid. Features only will vary. So, Royal Enfield, Royal Enfield features. Activa, Activa features will get. We can travel with Activa, we can travel with Royal Enfield also. Same way here also. So, the Informatica is providing the plenty of tools for to done the works. As for our work, then we can go and we can select the tool. We are going to land here as of the data integration tool, means ETL tool. We are going to be land this power center only. You can ask the question why only the power center? Informatica power center only. Why not SSIS, Pantaho, Talent, Maulsoft? These are all our familiar. ETL tools. See, here, plenty of tools are available. Informatica, Data Stage, Pantaho, Abinisho, SSIS, Microsoft, SQL Server, Integration Service. It is. Yes, it can also integrate the data. Microsoft also integrate the data. Pantaho, Talent. So. IBM data stage, ADF, ODI, Oracle data integrator. We all are doing same process, same thing, same work. But 
individually each and every tool level there is a significance is there that is what plenty of tools are there we are coming for to learn this informat <coughs> example is before going to land driving we are going to choose the comfort bike directly then we are not going to land the driving with a bmw bike or royal enfield bike so commonly used frequently used or a comfort so that type of product we will choose first we are going to be land with that so once if we are a perfect then we can go and we can handle any tool it is any bike it is so far i am using a pulsar tomorrow then i want to be purchase a royal enfield driving won't be very driving is same driving but so this handling will vary it's a heavy bike double engine more cc more weight one two three weeks difficulty will raise same process we are going to be implement there also then after two three weeks then we can go with that bike also same way here informatica why the organizations or else large scale of data movements so wherever we have more transactional data or any data if you want to move large hard of volumes of data one place to other place so this tool is a very sufficient or a very intellectually then it will work so that is what till the organizations are going to be used for etl movements with informatica tool only why because before going to purchase the tool they are going to be consider the lot of aspects performance how it will provide data handling how it will provide and what is the maintenance and cost effect also that is also one of the major point before going to purchase the tool see in a city lot of activists then we can see the why the activists only so lot of bikes in lot of bikes then we can see the active so it's majorly satisfying this features with this customers model cc style and maintenance and cost these are all we are looking same way architects or business intelligence sorry business analysts also are going to be watch lot of aspects in the tool level so how fast it can work so management maintenance cost effect then speed yes of course then we have to watch here so one walk if we are going something wrong happened some issue is raised so how fast can we resolve this issue how can it can handle the data so while moving from one area to other area how faster it can transform the data of one place to other place how faster it can load that is also they will observe that is what the most of the organizations organizations till they are running on informatica power central yes that is depends on this organization that is the depends on the scale of the business yes of course they can implement anything else not only the power sector they can choose anything else but till 50 to 60% of the major organizations are like a banking insurance more data telecom sectors auto uh, automobiles so where ever we are having this large volumes of data their informatica power center till it's using so that is what and also for to learn informatica etl process informatica power center is a tool etl is a process this process we are going to be work with informatica power center driving is a process bike is a tool we are using this driving by the bike to travel one place to other place 
same way here also. So it's a very easy tool to learn this Informatica, sorry, ETL process by using Informatica Power Center. Once if we know the ETL process, once if we learn here in Informatica Power Center, then we can work with all these tools. Process won't be well. Tool only will work. So that is the way then we'll go into the subject level. Fine, anyway. Why this tool? What is it mean by this integration? Why we need to integrate the data? That is the major point. If we don't want to, to integrate, we need not to work on any ATL tool. And organizations, also, they don't want any ATL tool, ATL employees. So why we need to integrate the data means, so see here, my data is spread over the world in different areas. So the business, whenever we are going to talk about the data integration, we should know about the business process. For example, one business is there here. Take a bank. So the bank spread over the world in different regions, US, UK, and India. Same bank only, same transaction, same subjects. So US bank also having accounts, loans, insurance policies. Indian bank is also having same. But whenever the business is going on, and business level, all kind of transactions, business is running, they need to store somewhere else. Otherwise, then we can't say what happened in business level, right or wrong. What is going on? If we are not tracking, what happened? We don't know. Today, what's going on, we have to track or otherwise. So tomorrow, then we can't say what happened yesterday. This is all transactional information. Transactional data only it is. Transactional data means current data, what is going on it is. The bank is a spread over the world, UK and US and India and China. So in three, re four regions. Okay, daily transactions are going on. So nowadays, complete 80 to 70 to 80 percent of the business completely dependent on online. Bank also. Once if we are going to take the account today, nowadays, we need not to enter into the bank or we need not to wait hours and hours for the transaction in a queue. They are providing a lot of feasibilities. Net banking, mobile banking, ATM centers, or third party applications, whatever we want, then we can use it for two transactions. No need to wait and hours and hours in a bank level. Wherever we did a transaction immediately, it's going to be tracked somewhere else. And it's going to be loaded in so their backend systems. If they are not loading, a lot of fights will happen with the bank and customers. There is no proof. Okay, today if I withdraw 10,000, again I will ask tomorrow also. 10,000, same 10,000. If they don't, don't have a proof. Not only the bank, take any business in the world. Or for example, supermarkets. DMART. So we know very well about this. Once if we are entered after render five hours, total this space to purchase something. So I selected some products. At the time of billing, they will ask me, what is your mobile number and uh, mail ID? 
what is the meaning of this they are tracking me if i am entered 100 times in a day 100 times then i won't so we had to say mail id phone number what they are doing is they are tracking my transaction what he is a purchasing 100 times and what product he interested these are all they are loading in somewhere else for what means for analysis or for predictions or for improvement of the business or to promote the customers so for this are all purpose to know the business what is going on this systems will work front end system these are all we call it as a all oltp transactional process once the transaction is happened immediately they are going to be load somewhere else okay fine it is keep on this business is running from past 6 years onwards if they are not taking any kind of decision making in the business level obviously the business is going to be messed up or else in one certain point of time it is going to be close so <coughs> that is what we required here one more layer and we need to be integrate all the sources of data and place it into one area for what means for analysis purpose only to know about the business what happened previous last 6 months so if you want to done like this then we required integration is required the business analyst ceo cio subject matter expert stockholder client these are all the top officials in business level they will ask the story i want to see the business last 6 months so in only in account region or a loaned loans area and what was the sale of all the regions uk us india and china china so the report they want so how this data will be presented in front end means oltp systems it is in a format of records record format but record formatted data if you are providing to the business analyst it's a very difficult to understand about the business he can't do it anything for example if i am providing like this 5000 records orders data or a supplier store data it is so if we are provided to the business analyst in this format record format and if they want to know the total profit or a shipping cost total shipping cost in particular region and they need to calculate manually total here 5000 plus records are there if we have 50 lakhs records manually if you want to do it it's a very difficult it is that is what then what needs to be done here this data to be converted into graphical format in a graphs if they want to make it in graphical format and first of all integrated data is required collective data is required we are loading complete all over the regional data here and they are going to be extract this data and they will make it into report format for what means for to understand the business easily within short span of time to take the decision makings that is we call it as a business intelligence that is we call it as a bi business intelligence it is business intelligence means to convert 
our business data into a pure report format like this. Finally, so we have to provide it to the end user in a graphical format to understand about the business within single glance. If you are showing like this, why this city sale is going down? They are going for the fiscal work. If it is a really happened, they will go for the decision making and then go and decrease this loan interest rate in complete that region. Why this people are not uh, attracting for this product. That is what they are going to be decreased. Automatically, it's a recycle. Yes, the business level, they will implement this decision. Again, they will run the business. Again, they will see the report, either it is a grow or not. Lot of kinds of analysis is there to improve the business, to grow the business, to predict the business, to analyze the business. For if they want to analyze, the first we had to make it as a data warehouse. Our job is to make this data warehouse. Okay, fine. That is what we are integrating. Whatever the business it is, wherever it is running, and whatever the platform we are storing out in. So somewhere else we are storing in Excel. Somewhere else we are storing in SQL Server database. So in some city, we are storing in ERP systems and SharePoint. And somewhere else we are storing the data cloud areas. Nowadays, lot of areas are available to preserve our data or either a file or a database either in on-premises or in cloud platforms. Wherever the data is stored, business data, extract the data and integrate it and get, go and load it on one place, go down level. Why we are calling this warehouse? Suppose if you are storing chocolate, chocolate warehouse it is. Biscuits if I am storing biscuit warehouse it is. Rice I am storing rice warehouse it is. Data warehouse it is. What we are storing here is only the pure data. Outside it is a business. Bank is outside. I can touch and I can feel this business. Once it came inside of the system, there is no bank, there is no biscuit, there is no chocolate here, only data only. It will be purely converted as a data format. That is what this place, we call it as a data warehouse to store years and years and years of data. Keep on load it is. And this one is called as a front end. The business is going on. The business data we are loading according to our requirement in different areas. Okay, that's dial it's going. On. This is purely designed for to run the business, not for to analyze the business. So then after then we are collecting as a ETL layer or a data preparation layer. So here we are going to be doing ETL process. Extract, transform, and load data in warehouse level. So extract the data from homogeneous or heterogeneous data. And then after done this transformation, validation, data cleansing and data transforming, aggregation, then finally this transformed data loaded into warehouse level. Simple, what we are doing is the data we are making or we are shaping to support for the analysis purpose, not for to the business purpose. So this is our job here. Not only Informatica Power Center, whatever tool, ETL tool. So if we are going to walk here as a preparation layer, 
These are all techniques we'll need or by informatic support center, IACS, or else uh, SSIS, data stage, front of hotel, and any tool. This process is same. ETL process is same. Then after then go and load into the data warehouse level. So it will be presented here in the form of analytical format, not in business format. Business running, format is different and business analytical format is different. So best example is see now, I have here Aadhaar card information in OLT, transactional data, Aadhaar ID. Aadhaar name and other location only for one person only one record there is no multiple reports here other one name is this and other location h y second person like this the data is presented so in Transactional, transactional database. So here what happened once if we are going to be change this location? Yes, we have a chance to change the location n number of times. So that is what this guy is going to change this location, Hyderabad to Bangalore. So he changed to Hyderabad to Bangalore. Now only the current data available here. There is no Hyderabad. Okay. Once if we change the address, what happened? Again, they are going to be issued the new code. So new code level only we can see this current location only. But here they want to see why he is changing this. And in one year, and he changed the city name 12 times. Bangalore to Chennai, Chennai to Mumbai, Mumbai to Calcutta. Like this he changed. If the government wanted to see why he is changing like this, his many of cities, or either a legal or illegal activities will be. Then this kind of data then we can find out in so OLAP level. OLAP means analysis process, data warehouse level we can see. So daily or weekly or based on the scheduled period, they are loading this data to here. Then here, not only this analysis data, historical data also will load. Historical and analysis. Historical means same data will load here, other ID, other name, other location. So first time he was in Hyderabad. Again, once this change happened here in source level, now he is in Bangalore now. What happened here is one more new record is going to be loaded over here. Same person, duplicate data. But it is a historical data. Now we can see here, like just example actually. This is a new place. Now he is in Bangalore. Previously, he stayed in a Hyderabad location. Now we can analyze it. What happened? How many changes he did so far? So historical plus analysis data in this format, we are going to be loaded into this warehouse level. 
that is what we are working as a ETL extract transform load ETL developer. For this ETL process, we are going to be choose here Informatica Power Center it is. Informatica Power Center is pure on-premises tool it is. On-premises means, yes, dedicated machine is required, software, hardware, maintenance, purchase cost, everything is our own. Just like as our own house. So own on-premises means, yes, this system is mine. Yes, I am a purchase this. Software is mine, hardware is mine, maintenance is mine. Everything is in my control. This is called as on-premises. On-premises dedicated service. Which belongs to Informatica. Which belongs to Informatica. Power center only supports on-premises machines only. We can install here all. So if you want to work with on-premises, power center, on-premises uh, server is required. Software, hardware, maintenance, everything is our system. But premises is very secure. It is no one will touch without any permissions. It's my own house. No one will enter into this house without my permission. More securities. But here, what happened is, according to the cost effect, everything we had to control it, employees, maintenance employees, cost license, everything we had to be controlled. So that is what. Nowadays, from past two years onwards, till it's not purely implemented, so just 10 to 20 percent only they are implementing the organizations that is called as IACS. So Informatica integration cloud service it is. Same as it is like as a power center, but this one we can configure anywhere else. So cloud level, cloud means it's not my area. Somebody's environment it is. Everything they are providing me as a service. I need not to purchase the system, software, hardware, maintenance, everything. The cloud platform is providing. For example, rental house it is. I want to stay in Hyderabad uh, three, four months. Why I need to purchase a house? One house we don't require. I don't have such capacity to purchase the house, own house. Then go on use for the rental house only. According to our requirement, purchase the space and we can install anything else there. So different platforms are there nowadays. Cloud they are providing for us. Amazon organizations, these are all. Maybe regularly, then we can uh, hard about these are all technical terms, organization names. Amazon, Google. So GCP, Google Cloud Platform, GCP, Amazon. Okay, Amazon CS3 server. It's a cloud. And then after Microsoft. Microsoft is providing Azure. Azure is a platform. It is a cloud environment. We need not to purchase anything else. Simple each and every month, pay them a rent and use the premises. Everything they will provide. Just like as a Google Drive. So if I want to maintain a Google Drive, so I need not to purchase the machine. Right or wrong? Just if I have a mail ID, 10 GB free space they are providing. Whatever, if I want to store, then I can store it. Right? Same process here also. We need not to purchase anything else. So this platform is for to this cloud. Who are in on-premises level? Till who are using. 
on premises dedicated servers they are using for etl informatic power center they are migrating to this iics what want to be valid just only the thing is environment is going to be changed remaining process this etl process tool everything is same so then you can ask me the question why i need to prepare okay fine data is they are loading business is loading a data daily what is going on? we are integrating after integrate and after i prepare a warehouse after 6 months 10 months 1 year 2 year 3 years then where this data is going to be used the data why we are preparing in this warehouse level for to make the reports only so again here the reporting people came into the picture to make the report as for the data story and who are going to be asked this report they will ask the story according to the story they will pick the data from warehouse and they are going to be converted into report format just a single word pull and print the data that's it pull the data from warehouse already it is in the form of analysis and just go and print according to that question in a graphical format before going to be submit so this is all why means what to take the decision making faster and to predict the business competitive analysis trend analysis improvement analysis this is all layer we call it as a business intelligence it is bi so business intelligence means to convert so oltp or a source data into decision making format okay so why we are preparing blindly we are not preparing this before the question analyst question we are going to be ready this data business data we are converting and we are get ready for to this answer the each and every story that is what we are preparing this faster and accurate decision making if they want must and should they need to be so maintain the data warehouse only of course one more question also is there then why data warehouse why i need to maintain this directly can't we pull the data from here to here that is also the question is there direct why can't we take this from source and why can't we print in a report format if we are doing like this so it will take a lot of time to make a report the why because this format is completely in business and it will take time to be transformed and print here direct print and also this system is a purely dedicated for to run the business not for analysis only so this is for the customers this is for the business only again business level customer and analysis both are placing on same area then so here the performance is going to be killed down it's not going to be maybe it's not going to be responded to this customers but the point is this is dedicated for customers only don't disturb this if you want faster analysis and sleep mode level so whenever the business sleep mode is there then go and pull the data and load it here whatever analysis you want and here only then we can do it so this is the purpose we are going for this etl it's a never end process it is see it's not going to be end if the business is going to be end 
business analysis is going to be MDR. Business won't be MDR. It's going to be improved. Data is not going to be end here. Every year, year by year, the data volume is going to be increased. Once the val volume is increased, more challenge will raise. See, keep on from past 20 years onward, the business bank is running. If there's some issue happened, the bank needs to be submitted to the RBI every year of data. So total 20 years of data, they need to be submitted to this RBI where this data is there, warehouse level is there. So just like as a ship, see, so it's a never end process, it is ATL. Whatever we are looking on the surface of the water, it's not at all a ship, it is. Why? Because if we want to see the boat or a ship on surface of the water, so some more double weight is required under the water. If this weight is not there, so on the surface, a ship is not there. Right or wrong? This is mean by the B, so business. This is, call it as a BI. Business intelligence it is. If intelligence is not there, business is not there. Business is not there, intelligence is not there. These two are correlated it is. So that it's a never end process it is. Maybe today informatical power center. Tomorrow IAC is. So maybe after five years, some more tool, but process is same. Ambassador is a super car 20 years back. Yes, today also super car it is. Okay. But no, no one is ready to purchase the ambassador nowadays. Even though organization released, we are not ready to purchase this. So we are looking trend change. We are looking for more uh, stylish. Right or wrong? But driving? Driving same only. Driving is not valid. Master driving? It's same driving only. Right? Same process in this. Once the trend is changed, maybe the tool will change. The process is not going to be changed. So that is what? We'll learn this ATL process by this informatical power sector. Once if we are perfect in a process to move the data from source to warehouse, same thing will happen for other tools also. Remaining Teradata or LZ, any so graphical user interface tools. So all will work, remaining tools also will work, same place. Same way, this course is going to be covered here. It's a well designed informatical power center. So, completely, it's a design pattern. It is slow down, then we are going to be learned from end to end. And 35 more hours it will take actually, 40, 45 hours to hours also it will take to be finished all these concepts. A lot of concepts is there in process level and to 45 hours it will take. And we are going to be cover here all these topics in informatical level in deep. SQL and Unix fundamentals. These are all our mandatory skills for to work with the informatical tool. SQL and Unix. Maybe some organizations, maybe they can configure this Informatica in Unix box. All are not going to be installed in Windows only. Some are organizations are going to be configured in Unix box also. That is what we should learn. These are all fundamentals. Frankly, I'm saying that fundamentals are not at all sufficient to be work on enterprise level. So here only I'm going to be cover SQL and Unix. So five to six hours only. Okay, according to which we required for informant. But that skill is not sufficient. More exposure knowledge is required on SQL, but at least we required. So, and again, this dedicated course is there that will take again 30 to 40 hours. And 
go and learn the sexual part also that is the better and a real time project i will explain and it will take so 20 to 30 hours it will take to done yourself now i am not going to end to end i am not going to be explain i will give you the complete plan and uh, so execution yourself then you have to be do it this one and complete materials for every topic whatever we are going to be discuss here daily that live session video live session after the class 2 3 hours on that day then you will get the video also for recap and scenarios for practice and finally then i will provide you this complete interview related to crack this interview related questions faqs so and the session will fix the timings it is 8 am to 9 am okay daily one hour session it is daily one hour so monday to saturday okay so this was the way then the sessions will run tomorrow we have a session i will show you the tool so far we are discussed all is theoretically then we'll see the tool how easy it is most probably 90% we need not to write any code no code only 10% only code is there remaining or all or just drag and drop only so this is all which we are doing in sql so 15 years back and 20 years back there is no etl tool completely so they are written in pure sql scripts so whenever the issue is raised it's very difficult to be resolve this that is what they are implemented uh, these tools back end level same process is going on so that's we'll see tomorrow practically how the data movement how the integration will work by this informatica tool all of you online guys please share your mails and numbers under chat box who are not shared till please share your mail id also mail and mobile number also then only then i can share with you the content basic fundamental understanding about the tool and today's video session is are all then i can share the deep content also this is overall content it is then i will give you the deep content here for each and every topic what we are going to be cover so then i will share you that room also online guys dilip pawan and him if you have any queries please raise your queries guys it will take the part for five hours yeah around the why because the last uh, subject is there yeah dilip yes please yeah i don't know i'm good right thank you all of you guys well uh, kind of thank you for to attend this first demo you say anything else guys okay thank you for this demo attend for the demo we'll connect tomorrow same time for this second demo practical implementation i will show you. thank you all of you have a nice day guys